You know how tricky it can be with sensitive skin looking for a cleanser that does not irritate or flare up your skin. I have been on that journey for many years looking for fragrance-free, essential oil-free, alcohol-free cleansers that are low pH and non-stripping to my skin. Hey, it's Kelly. Welcome back to my channel where we talk all about gentle skincare and sometimes self-care. So if that's your vibe, please consider hitting subscribe. And today I want to share with you some of the cleansers that my son sensitive skin personally loves. So I'm going to share a couple of different cleansers that I think can really, you know, serve lots of different skin situations and of course, lots of different budgets. If you are so ready to jump in the video, give it a big thumbs up and let's get started. <music> So first up, I want to talk about the best non-offending gel cleanser I personally have found, and that is the Bioderma Sensibio Cleansing Gel. What do I mean by non-offending? Well, really what I mean by this is I have found that gel cleansers, just as a category and in a very general sense, tend to be a little bit harsher on the skin. They tend to take a little bit of extra moisture from sensitive or dry skin because gel just really seems to get in there. It's a very very effective, you know, format for a cleanser, but with sensitive skin, you know, sometimes it can be a little bit too much. But I have to say, I love a good effective clean on my skin. I like how gel cleansers feel. I like how they really, you know, get in there, break up any, maybe you have a little excessive oil in your T-zone, or maybe you have a little bit of extra sunscreen or makeup that you wanna work through. I love a gel cleanser for those types of situations. But like I said, it's a delicate balance with sensitive skin. And so that's why I feel like this is non-offending. This is very neutral. This gives you that gel texture with that great cleansing sensation, but it doesn't strip your skin of moisture. It doesn't feel harsh on your skin at all. It just feels neutral. It just feels really gentle, but it really cleans your skin so effectively. There are no bells or whistles on this, you know, cleanser. It's a very straightforward sensitive skin cleanser, but it gets the job done. And so if you love that gel texture, the little bit of foaminess, but still low pH and still sensitive skin friendly, this is my pick. Next up, the best affordable cleanser. And I got to give it up to the Hamish All Clean Green Foam. I talk about this so much because I really love this cleanser and it's not just the price alone, although that is a huge factor. I mean, this cleanser comes in roughly around eight to $12. We are kind of in the middle of inflation right now, so you should expect a little bit of variation, but even so, this is still an incredibly affordable cleanser. This is a K-Beauty brand, and you know, sometimes K-Beauty brands aren't available like at every K-Beauty shop you might be looking at. I generally feel like this Hamish cleanser is pretty popular and pretty widely available, which is why this is really my go-to pick. I think that this really will suit like all skin types, in including sensitive skin. It will suit like all budgets and I think it's really widely available. So you see why I recommend it all the time. Let's just talk about like skincare and budgets and where you should really be spending your money for just a second because I will say, I don't think you need to be spending your money on cleansers. You could really spend a lot. I mean, there's very expensive cleansers out there and I have a wide variety of prices in this video alone. But if you're on a budget, if you're price conscious and you're just really looking to stretch your skincare dollar, do not spend your money on cleansers. You know what I'm saying? Like don't look for a fancy name, don't invest in active ingredients in cleansers just find something that cleans your face because at the end of the day your cleanser is on your face for such a short period of time before you wash it away down the drain really take that skincare money and put it towards your serums your toners your essences you know the products that are going to make a bigger difference in your skincare goals and stay on your face a little bit longer that's not a cleanser and so don't feel like you have to spend a lot of money. This is a really, really great pick. I like the texture of this too because it's somewhere between a gel and a jelly cleanser. It's a little bit of both. It's got like a thicker texture to it and it actually has like a nice foam on it as well. Now you may have experienced low pH cleansers, which by the way, every cleanser in this video comes in at 5.5, which is the ideal pH. Um, those generally don't tend to have a lot of bubbles 
it doesn't tend to foam up a lot. So if you really like that sensation, just know you're making a little bit of a trade off picking something that has a, a nicer pH for your skin. You're not going to get as many bubbles, but this one actually just has like a nice, like foaming capability. It's not super thick, but it's, it's got enough there that if you like that sensation, you will feel like, yeah, I'm cleaning my skin, but I'm just not stripping it of moisture. Next is the best two in one cleanser. And that is the La Roche Posay Lipicar AP plus wash. And I mean, two in one in two senses. I mean, it's like a milk and a gel cleanser in one bottle. And it's also a face and body cleanser in one bottle. I do want to talk about the ingredients really quickly because there are some notable differences here than some of the other cleansers in today's video. We do have niacinamide, which you know is a barrier supportive ingredient. And we also have shea butter. Now you're like, hey, that's in um, like lots of rich moisturizer right? What's it doing in a cleanser? Well, in this cleanser, it helps to impart a little bit of skin calming moisture. Like I said, this is kind of like a milk cleanser and a gel cleanser in one. It's not as heavy or as full on moisturizing as a milk cleanser. And I'm going to talk about like a, a true traditional milk cleanser in just a second. But this does have that little bit of soothing moisture to it with the, you know, effective cleaning and a slight foaming capabilities of a gel cleanser. So it's a really unique mix. When my skin feels very dry, like all this winter, it's been very dry. I love this because it does give that little bit of moisture after I've washed my face that makes my skin feel just a little bit more comfy you know not like super irritated and dried out and tight it just it just gives just that little whisper to my skin, which I absolutely love. And this is so soothing too. Um, this is actually really great if you have eczema prone skin as well. Um, this is just the right kind of texture with the, the foaming and the gel kind of quality and that little bit of moisture. So good when your body skin is like dry and itchy. But this has been my gym bag hero this winter because I've been swimming um, in a chlorinated pool and you know what chlorine can do to your body, right? This is awesome for my gym bag because it's um, something I just decant it into a smaller bottle to save space. I can use it on my body and I can use it on my face time saver. But because it does have that little extra moisture and that soothing ability, my skin's not getting really irritated and really dried out from all the exposure to chlorine. So it's a real big win. Um, so any way that you want to like use this, I think that it's going to serve anybody who has slightly drier skin, a little bit more irritation prone, maybe even eczema prone skin this is a great one to try. Speaking of moisturizing cleansers, the best milk cleanser is Stradia Velvet Cleansing Milk. Now I actually have two uh, favorite milk cleansers and the other one is from Cioris. Now if you want to see my review on that particular cleanser, you can check out the cleanser video I did a couple of years ago that I'm going to link right up here. There's some other really great choices in there for sensitive skin. So I love how simple the ingredients are here. Here. This is something I grab when my skin is super dry and maybe even inflamed and irritated. That's when I'm going to reach for a milk cleanser because this is full on moisturization for your skin. After you rinse this away, you're going to feel that that moisture infused into your skin. You're going to have a nice layer of calming nourishment uh, before you start the rest of your skincare routine. And you know how it feels when your skin is so dry. Starting off with that little extra layer can really make the difference <laughs> to how comfortable your skin feels, right? So I I love this in that particular situation. And sometimes when my skin is just so dry and I'm just like moisture, 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 I'll just put a nice, you know, thick layer of this onto my skin and just let it sit for a minute or two, almost like a really quick wash off cream mask, because this just really infuses my skin with that calming, rich moisture that it desperately needs in certain times, especially in the winter. So this is wonderful for that. I will say, um, like I said, I love a good effective clean with my cleanser. Um, if you do have thicker layers of sunscreen makeup or like stubborn eye makeup on, just know this isn't going to be your main cleanser for removing that. 
this is really just a very gentle cleanser that infuses skin with some moisture so I would highly recommend that you do um, invest in some type of uh, first cleansing product to do the double cleansing method I hate to keep like pushing you guys over to other videos but if you're looking for recommendations there I have you covered in this video and I'll also put it in the description box for you guys to check out later next up is my best overall cleanser and that is the beauty of Josan green plum refreshing cleanser now let me kind of explain what I mean by best overall because I knew I had to include this product in the video this is such a fun cleanser that I enjoy so deeply but I was trying to figure out like what made it different from the other products in this video you know is it the most affordable well it definitely is really affordable this is coming in in that same range as Hamish around eight to twelve dollars depending on where you buy it um, and of course there's always sales too so it is a very affordable cleanser I was trying to think does it suit a certain skin type and I honestly think it'll suit all skin types or at least most of them I don't find this to be um, particularly moisturizing or particularly like oil controlling I think this has a really nice neutral feel on the skin very effective cleanse but I don't think it leans one way or the other when it comes to skin type and um, I definitely find this very suitable for sensitive skin and I actually find this really entertaining and that was the one thing that made it a little bit different than some of the other products on this list so let's talk about that entertainment factor because I would describe this as a jelly bouncy textured cleanser and you may have heard people say that in the past you'd be like what is a bouncy cleanser what's a bouncy texture like what does that exactly mean um, and to me this is kind of how I would describe it you'll see this is like a thicker it's not quite like a gel it's got a little bit of like wiggle and jiggle to it that's definitely some bounce factor to it but really when you get this onto your skin you're gonna feel the difference because it spreads beautifully um, it feels really nice and slippery and you'll notice as you're working this into your skin and as it's foaming up it's not really breaking down underneath your fingers it's creating this beautiful slippery layer between your fingers and your face but unlike a traditional gel cleanser it's not breaking down you know what I mean there's that little bit of layer that feels so good as you glide your fingers across your face and that's I think really where I really feel the bounce to this cleanser it's subtle it's not really a big deal I don't think there's any benefit like it's cleaning your skin better or it's protecting your sensitive skin from the friction of your fingers no it's just like a fun texture with a pleasant like experience to it and I don't know if you have sensitive skin maybe you're like me and sometimes you feel like you're missing out <laughs> on fun packaging or maybe on like really fun scents because your skin is so sensitive that you can't use fragrance and all of the unfragrant skincare has very plain packaging <laughs> right so you got to get your kick somewhere and like I personally get my kick from textures and experiences of how things feel on my skin and so I really revel in the texture of this I just think it's really fun I think it's entertaining but at the end of the day the most important thing is does this cleanser clean your skin effectively and my answer is yes it cleans your skin effectively but it doesn't strip your skin of any essential moisture that you need um, and that's why I think it is so suitable for sensitive skin while still being low pH without containing any fragrances there's a little bit of skin entertainment value here that I personally appreciate next up is my pick for best travel cleanser because you know we are kind of like putting our toes back into the water of travel a little bit and you may find that your traditional like pump cleansers or squeeze tubes just don't cut it they're just kind of a pain to travel with that's where the Cosrx Centella cleansing powder capsules come in I absolutely love these for saving space in my bag and also a liquid free option to get through airport security now powder cleansers super handy for travel right I mean they're liquid free they save space and they're mess free too right um, absolutely great choice I just find with sensitive skin that a lot of powders can 
can be sometimes um, a little bit drying on my skin. Um, it's not necessarily that they're not sensitive skin friendly, but just they can sometimes feel a little bit stripping. And I just don't feel that way about this Cosrx um, Centella powder. I feel like this doesn't have as much drying factor to it as a lot of other powders that I've tried in the past. This just feels very um, like a great effective cleanser, but very neutral on my skin, which can like lean on the dry side or the very dehydrated side. This just feels very skin respectful. So this is such a convenient product to have on hand for occasional use for travel or you know gym bags or just on the go and I do really want to stress that I'm recommending this as an occasional use product because with the convenience factor of this we're getting some excessive packaging right and I just think that it's important to be aware of that um, sometimes you know we are going to produce a little bit more waste um, in certain situations but I think it's always just good to be aware and so this is definitely something that I use for travel which is an occasional event for me. And it really is such like a space saver. Um, it's just like a headache free uh, type of choice for me. It doesn't spill in my bag. Um, and so for those types of occasions, this is what I'm reaching for. So now I wanna know what cleanser are you currently using right now? Whether you have sensitive skin or not, let me know in the comment box below. There's so many great cleansers on the market these days. We are just like spoiled for choices. If you love this video, it gave you value it helps you out but you have not hit subscribe yet please do consider hitting subscribe before you go i release a lot of new skincare and self-care content throughout the week so don't forget to uh, turn on notifications too so you're never out of the loop i hope you are healthy happy and safe and i cannot wait to talk to you in the next video i'll see you soon bye